Oh, hey guys. Going to do a quick video for you on the Gunfighter Gun Oil Super Cleaner. You know, we launched this product because I wanted something that was not toxic. So there's a lot of guys that clean guns with brake cleaner, paint thinner, and other types of, of chemicals that uh, are pretty caustic and toxic things to have on your skin, to breathe, uh, to have in your home. All of the dangerous things that we're exposed to being uh, on the range, lead, et cetera, I just don't want more chemicals in my life and in my system. So we created a product that is non-toxic. You don't want to drink it or anything like that, but I want to show you how we use this. So we'll grab a uh, Radian carbine that we have. This is uh, technically a pistol. This just went through a class in South Florida. And yes, this gun's been cleared out before we began, so don't freak out. And this isn't going to be a how to clean an AR video. I just want to show you how we use the Gunfighter cleaner. So super simple. Uh, we use this stuff like soap. It's a waterborne product. So anywhere that you put it, you want to make sure that you completely dry and clean that area. But I'll break this bolt down into all of its components real quick. And in doing so, you'll get a great idea of how this product works. And you know what? We don't call it super cleaner for nothing. This stuff really does an excellent, excellent job at just dissolving dirt and grime and gunk. That is a, a dirty, dirty bolt. And they get a lot dirtier, but this is about a thousand rounds or so, maybe 1200. What we've noticed using this YouTube channel, uh, sharing with you, People get really vehement about what you think about cleaning or lubing. I'm showing you what our experience is, and our experience is based on training across the country, shooting tens of thousands of rounds a year, maintaining weapons. I've got guns that are have been in my possession for 30 years, and this is how I maintain stuff. It works. So I've got a chip brush, cheap chip brush. I'm just gonna show you uh, one way you could use this. I'm also gonna show you on a pistol. So I'm just gonna agitate this cleaner onto the surface, just like I would if I was cleaning dishes or, or scrubbing uh, car parts or something like that. Now you could also use this stuff in a parts washer. You could use this stuff over or under rather warm running water. What I wanna show you is I got a clean paper towel and I just wanna show you how much stuff just lifts right off the surface and then what this bolt carrier looks like after just a simple wipe down. This isn't even me getting detailed. So this is like in the field. I may just work like this, quick wipe down, but you see all the junk and gunk that's coming off of this BCG. So I'd work it like that. I'll grab the, the worst of the parts here and just put a little, and you see just a little bit of cleaner. I'm not going crazy. I don't have, uh, I don't have to soak it or, or get nuts. And of course, when you're, when you're cleaning these, you will get some baked on carbon from the amount of heat uh, that, that's involved with some of these components. You may need to take something like a, a knife and scrape off that carbon if you so choose. Now, I'm not the kind of guy that every time I shoot my gun, I have to scrub it down. Some of these guns have, like this one, a thousand rounds just from a weekend of shooting. I'm not gonna spend that kind of time and it's it's not gonna hurt the gun. I'll let you, Drew, come back in. I didn't spend much time at all on this part, but what you'll see, and yes, there is still some grime and junk on it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna work it a little bit more, but what you'll notice is most of the crud lifted right off. Now there's another part of this puzzle, good lubricant, a high quality lubricant. Why it's important that they're paired together is that oil is not cooking off of the gun. This stuff is, is good to well over 500 degrees, 550-ish uh, uh, is, is the temperature that it stays put. That's important because when it comes time to clean, the stuff just wipes off with a little bit of our mild super cleaner. Now, other parts, uh, that we can think about in this process or other other parts of the process that are valuable is what level of cleanliness 
or tearing down the gun is required for your purposes. If I was gonna break one of these guns down and say I'm done training for the season, which doesn't end for us, I would do a complete detail strip. I'd break that gun apart, I'd clean everything, I'd lube it up, and I'd put it away so that when I came back to it, I know it's ready to go. But for me, a lot of times, just a simple clean down like that is all that's required. I'm gonna grab my number one pistol, which in this case is a Beretta 92G from Langdon. This is the Elite LTT. We've been shooting these Berettas for years, and it's so great to see the resurgence of people appreciating how wonderful these guns are. So this gun as well, uh, 1,500 rounds through it from the past class in Florida, four days of training. You can see the uh, feed ramp here, how dirty it is. But again, what I want you to notice, while this is a cleaning video about the super cleaner, before I put anything on here, because we use this lubricant that doesn't cook off, carbon just wipes right off the gun. There's no gimmicks here. This is high quality synthetic lube and high quality cleaner. It's not, we're not telling you it's some space age nano mumbo jumbo technology. It's super high quality lubricant that's been independently tested and it works awesome. Just a simple wipe job here. There's a few spots where it's a little baked. It's a little baked on and I got this little light brass brush that I'm just gently knocking the, uh, the more cooked on bits off. And you will notice as I wipe this down in a second, it's like magic. So super dirty. And there's the magic bits. It looks at all this stuff just lifts right off. So what I do, because this is a waterborne cleaner, this particular cleaner, I'm gonna step over to the sink and I'm just gonna run this under warm water. <gasps> water and firearms, they don't mix. Of course they do. I'm gonna dry it completely and thoroughly before I oil it and put it back in the gun. Any part that you ever do get water on, you need to make sure that you dry it thoroughly. So I'm gonna step to the sink. Rinsing is what I do if I'm doing a heavy cleaning. So I'm showing you a light cleaning, heavy cleaning. So now I need to really dry this part off. And I usually use compressed air, blow the part off in entirety, and then we'll re-lubricate. Something like I did on the bolt carrier group, that's just a quick wipe down, re-lubricate, and reassemble. So this cleaner, what I tell people is think about it like you're cleaning dishes. Agitate with a brush or a sponge or even a Q-tip and then a little uh, a little rinse down, a little clean off and back to lube. I'm gonna show you really quick here if I was gonna do a light cleaning uh, for whatever reason that you needed to do it. I can take this, uh, take this Q-tip and a little bit of cleaner but just look at the amount of gunk and filth that just comes right off. We don't call this super cleaner for no reason works amazing look at that and again I think sometimes guys think well if you're gonna clean it clean it all the way look as I've said in like our some of our lubing videos we've got a lube video up for AR-15 if I'm out training I'm not stopping in the middle of class and in going into a, a detail clean of my gun but I may be back at the rental or wherever we're at in the evening and may need to just keep that gun up and running and give it a give it a quick once over. So the point of all of this, and let's look at all that gunk that came out of there with just a few drops of super cleaner. Now if I wanted to, I can go to the brush as we showed you earlier and I can work even more of the stuff out. And this is not, I'm not, this brush is nothing. I'm just smearing the stuff around and it it lifts that stuff right out of there. We get a lot of calls and I think guys are scared. They don't want to hurt their gun. What I want you to think about is these are machines. Keep them clean, give them a bath, lube them up, and they're gonna serve you well. Modern metallurgy is not the same as it was back in the days of, of blued steel and 
you know, wood stocks. But anywhere that you use water, you definitely want to dry those parts thoroughly. If you've got a dehumidifier in your, uh, in your gun room, your gun space, or a dehumidifier anywhere, you can use that. Uh, put the parts in front of the dehumidifier. So if you did not have a dehumidifier or compressed air, uh, canned air, which is very expensive, you use to clean computers off, could be used or break the parts down and just put them in front of a household fan, moving air on them. They will dry due to evaporation. Definitely do not use moisture if you don't have to, but I do believe, and this is based on years of doing this, years of doing this. When I say years, I don't mean two or three years, I mean decades. Uh, I get comments and it makes me chuckle because Opinions don't invalidate what we've found to be true over decades. Our guns are maintained well, they work well. I think there's a lot of old dogmas that need to die when it comes to the maintenance of firearms. Clean them up, lube them up, and they're gonna keep working. Replace springs as needed. Super Cleaner is one of the best products on the market, in our opinion, that's why we brought it to market for the maintenance of firearms, because it's not toxic, it's not gonna hurt you, it's not flammable, it's not adding more noxious and toxic, toxic stuff to your environment. That's how you use it. Scrub it up, lube it up. Be good. Hey, little brother, what do you think of gunfighter gun oil? I'm gonna have to show you. <sighs> hey, Steve, what do you think of gunfighter gun oil? Well, Mick, uh, I said, I said, I said, <laughs> hey, Steve, what do you think of gunfighter gun oil? Well, Mick, I have to show you about that. Gunfighter, gunfighter lube. Baby, I had the gunfighter. Still working on it, but you know. Yeah, so you like the lube? It's the best. 